So I will now make an attempt to load down the copper wire. Oh, we can actually leave this here. So you can see that curve. So we start here, we, we go up with half kilograms. We will write down then how much that laser spot goes up on the wall. And then in between increasing the weight, increasing the force, we will take the masses off to see whether they return, whether the length of the rod returns to the original length. And you will see after a while that you get permanent deformation, then it no longer comes back to its original length. In other words, the laser spot will not return to zero on the wall, but it will stay higher. So, Ron, if you are there, oh boy, you're hiding behind. <laughs> um, maybe we want to move the view graph out of the way so that students can also see. So here is that copper wire, which will be hard to see for some of you. It's only 20 thousandths of an inch thick. And here is that mirror, which can pivot and can tilt. And Ron is going to put weights on here. And then we will take the weights off in between. And we will try to construct a curve of the stress versus strain, except that it is practical for me to put here just the mass, how many kilograms we have on there, because we know what A is, so you can calculate F over A, that's not so important now. And here I simply have delta Y. But keep in mind that delta Y is always 425 times larger than delta L. And so we're going to plot it, and we're going to see whether we come up with a curve that is somewhat similar to that one. 